riding a tanker on Grand Banks of Newfoundland, Louisa Rivao is waiting for a brood of dories and fishermen to return. We Portuguese have fished here for nearly five centuries. Little has changed. My name is Antonio da Graça. I live in a little town in Portugal called Povo de Brasil. It is nearly five months since I left my home and went to Lisbon to join my ship, but I remember it well because it is the same every year. Early in April, all the ships of the fleet prepare to sail. Thousands of fishermen from all over Portugal come to the harbors of Lisbon, Porto, Aveiro, Viana do Castelo and Figueira da Foz. On the day we leave, all the harbors look the same. They are crowded with our families and friends who have come to say goodbye. Boa viagem! They will not see us again for six months, or seven, if the fishing is not good. hard to say goodbye when you are leaving for such a long time. Sometimes I think it would be easier if they did not come to see us off. They cry, but they know we must leave. It is our work. This is my ship, the Villa do Con. She is 11 years old. We have a good captain and a crew of 23. There are 56 fishermen, and this is our home while we are at sea. When we leave Portugal, all the ships are painted white. The people of Newfoundland call it the White Fleet, and have done so for many years. We fish when the weather is good, and sometimes when it is not so good. Getting up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning is not very nice, but after we have eaten and get out in fresh air, we are eager to go. The doors are made ready and lowered into the water. The more fish we catch, the more money we get, so we try hard. Early in the season, we go many miles away to set our trawls. Sometimes we have to row, but when there is a good breeze, we raise the sail and let the wind do the work for us. certain and captain has told us to stay close to our ship. Usually each of us put out five or six trolls, but today, because we are so close together, we can only use a short line. Sometimes our lines get tangled and then we must try to separate them again. I think we are going to be fishing for a long time today before our dories are full. I don't think that we will be fishing this way for too many more years. The big crawlers catch more fish than we can, and they say the bigger ships catch it more cheaply. But this is our way and I will do it this way for as long as I can.
Our dories are good, strong boats, and we take good care of them. In a heavy sea, our lives depend on them. They are quite heavy and are about 15 feet long. When we go fishing, we take two oars and a spare in case we should lose one. We have a sail, a compass, a baler, a bait box, and a basket to hold our trawl lines. These lines are about a quarter of a mile long, and we have five or six of them. We also take a lunch because when we leave the mother sheep, we do not return until our dories are full or until the captain calls us. Sometimes when it is foggy and we cannot see our sheep, each of us have a conch shell in our dory, which we blow so our captain will hear us and know where we are. When the weather is good for fishing, we must catch as much as we can. Often the sea is too rough and then we have to stay on our ship. This happens many times and then the day seems very long. We are uncomfortable because there is not much room for us to move around. But today we fish and we are such fine. captain has much responsibility. There are 56 of us fishermen in his care and he does not rest until we are all back on board. While we are gone the deck is washed down. The captain dog like uh, doesn't like water. A few spare dories are kept on board in case of damage. When a dory begins to leak it is repaired by the ship's carpenter and made ready for sea again. Every fisherman has his own dory and does not like to use any other, so he is anxious that his own be mended and as soon as possible. A fisherman from one of the other ships got lost in the fog last evening. In spite of the fact that he was bailing and rowing all night, he would not throw his fish overboard and his dory was full when we picked him up this morning. He is waiting now to be picked up by his own ship. We have lots of company here today. We are fishing on Virgin Rocks, a favorite place this time of year. Besides of our own vessel, the Villa de Gonde, there is the Don Denis, the Senora da Vida and Gazella. Sometimes, when the dories drift too far away from the ship, the captain lifts the anchor and steams closer to us so that we won't have to row too far when it is time to return with our fish. We are supposed to watch our ship as the day passes so that we will see the signal flag when it is raised. When I see this flag, it means we are to return with our fish. When the doors are filled with cod, the waves wash over the border and we have to keep bailing to keep them afloat. This fisherman has a good catch. When the dories come alongside, the mate marks down how much fish each fisherman has in his boat. A full dory can hold ten kentles of cod. We must unload these ourselves into the ship before we can go aboard and get out of our wet clothes. Today the fishing has been slow. I think it will be after dark before many of the dories will return. Hey, hey, hey. 
As it begins to get dark and more dories come back, the cooks begin to prepare our meal. We have been out since early this morning with just a lunch, so everyone is very hungry. Our cooks are very good and soon there will be lots to eat. Fresh vegetables, hot soup, meat and fish, and red wine. It takes a lot of food to feed 56 hungry fishermen. It is quite dark now, and the captain is beginning to worry because all his dories have not returned. It is 10 o'clock and there is still much to be done. When we hear the siren, we know the captain wants us to come immediately, so I think it won't be too long before everyone is back. Only three dories at a time on each side on the ship can unload their fish, so the others have to wait for their turn. As each door is emptied, it is raised on deck and piled with the others until morning. It is very late and we still have to split and clean the fish and salt it down in the hold. But uh, first we eat. This is a good time of day. Everyone has worked very hard and most of the door is well filled. We talk about the fishing and the weather and our families. And often we talk about our visits to St. John's. This year, the Newfoundland government proclaimed June 17 Portugal Day, and some of our vessels had sailed to St. John's that morning. <laughs> 